chat, you know me. I have a love-hate relationship with body positivity. And by that, I mean I love hating body positivity. <laughs> I'm obviously fat phobic. I hate everyone. I hate everyone who's slightly above their um, healthy BMI. God damn, so... How wonderful is it seeing fat influencers <laughs> passing away? <laughs> Bro! So, fat influencers are passing away. Would have never seen that one coming. Fat acceptance is a cult. Just a it reminder is. that I am very fat and very sexy. And I am 100% glorifying obesity. Now we got an issue. <laughs> now we got a real issue. I want to inspire big girls all over the world. This is what I manifest every single day. Hey, it's not unhealthy though to be fat. Not unhealthy. Oh, I love this guy. Fucking Nikado Avocado, man. Always two steps ahead, man. Choo choo. Choo choo. fat and I'm sexy. I'm fat and I'm sexy. I'm sorry, but the words f fat and sexy only go together when it's fat isn't sexy. <laughs> There's no way those words ever go sure, together. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I don't know about you. I don't find any sexiness in contributing to the statistics that obesity <gasps> Would you look at that? It's the leading cause of death in the What? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. The US. Very hot, I know. Just because I'm fat, that doesn't invalidate the things that I say. That is That is a fair point. Being fat doesn't mean you're stupid. That is that's a good point, but if you make everything about being fat, and if you're trying to say uh, being fat is okay, that 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 kind of speaks for itself. You know, she died. You ready yeah. to get super size? She died too. Today I got the big fruit loop. He's dead. He died. Join me on my fat positive radio show, which didn't last long because she died. Most of the time, being fat is lazy. Yeah, that's true. Most of the time, it was. Unlike how Dove or the new wave. And disclaimer! She, I am very fat and very sexy. There is nothing you can do about it. I was Us, about to give a no disclaimer. Problem. Your own body takes care of this. We got time. That's true. <laughs> disclaimer! I'm not saying everyone is fat by choice. Oh, everyone is lazy. I know there's some conditions, and I know it's not that easy to lose weight. But in most cases, it's true. Just fucking claim it. And they don't fucking hate you if you're fat. God damn. A Victoria's Secret wants you to believe healthy beauty does not come at every size, and certainly not at a like. If she feels comfortable in it, good on her. Good on her, right? Good on her. Uh, it makes me feel uncomfortable, though. <laughs> makes me... Uh, this... I'm sorry, but... This makes me feel uncomfortable. It's... It's unhealthy. It's... Like... Look at her arms. It's like... Fuck your cellulite and shit. Yeah, and cover your delusional? Yeah. Fuck, I stand corrected. Fat people are fast. They beat nicotine addicts in a race to the grave. <sighs> oh my god. You don't just say that. <laughs> you don't just say that. <laughs> wow! 
the socially noble body positive plus sizes. Yet it is absolutely not wholesome to point that out. So much corporate glorification has been done to powder the fat elf. Also, what is it with like? I don't. I don't exactly know what it is. But is it true that a lot of Africans do like fat chicks? Like, to I don't know. I heard that it's like a lot of Africans do like fat chicks. No idea. Uh, there's being chubby and being attractive. Then there's crap like uh, this. When you do not give a crap about your own body and try to make it acceptable and attractive and it ends up being set on for certain. Yeah, that's true. You can absolutely look good. You can make yourself look good even when you're overweight. You can. Yes. It is cultural. Fat is seen that they are wealthy, etc. Wait, more caution for the pushing is the same. <laughs> As a black man, I can say to some regard, yes, damn, especially the muscular ones. Okay, okay that's understandable, though. Like, muscular ones? Sure. Kind of, but there's a limit. I think they like curvy girl, but not this curvy. I don't know. When you are so fat that your feet stay a dry during heavy rain. Oh. <gasps> Being chubby, sure, but being obese is not the goal. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Being obese is so fucking unhealthy. And in the room, that obesity is in fact a disease, not a bad point. But it is. corporations don't want you to get well because there is a gold mine in fatness. Mm. No way. Not just in convincing you to shed it, but also for you to keep it. Take body positive all star Dove for instance. Yeah, I know Duff. I like their lotions. Real hey, Kamichi! comes at every size. They stretch out their plastic bottles and video Why? game figures to slap on words like... <laughs> Beautiful, sexy, confident whenever they can. Like... I remember what, what was that from? Every other human, I wanted to believe that it was to support the self love journey of women and leave it at that. But no, but... I decided to ruin my day and my trust in humanity by. Oh boy. Yeah, basically every single kids who stream. <laughs> <laughs> Every single against the stream. Researching a bit more. That was a Dove commercial, was it? And found out that it was Dove actually a Dove commercial by Unilever. And guess what else Unilever owns? Ben and Jerry's ice cream. No way. Why is fat positivity only for women? Literally, literally, and mostly for white women at that. Literally, if it's actually a person who was disabled in some shape or form or someone who had burn images or burn images yeah who was burned well, that doesn't matter leaf it's only for fat white chicks magnum ice cream and many other ice creams but this is my blowing mayo in all your greasy burgers skippy peanut butter a selection This is crazy. Of frozen foods. I can go on. Isn't it nice to encourage your consumers to accept their enlarging body and deteriorating health as the ideal in order to sell more of your processed foods because their beautiful bodies deserve more? Has Ugh. Like, I'm sorry, but uh of your processed foods because. Their Bro, the one after. Bodies deserve. I. It's 
To be fair, American foods are made in a way that make them extra unhealthy. That is true. More. That is true. Body positivity, a movement intended to uplift women. Just depressing it is, yeah. Just manipulative limits to our acceptable emotions. My dear, sweet child. That's what I do. It's what I live for. And worse. Oh my god. A cover for big food, big farming, and big pharmaceutical companies to profit off. Do you know the fact that Dove is owned by a company who makes so m many fucking food products? It just tells me all these fat people that say being, sad is, being fat is sexy, all these people are brainwashed. They're all brainwashed. Something that baffles me is how they are comfortable. I went on a weight losing journey because the overweight was unbearable and I was just 15 kilos over the healthy bar. 15 is quite a lot, but not that nearly that bad. That's true, man. Uh, no, 100% agreed. Like, generally, 15 kilograms is not that bad. But it's just... <sighs> it is malicious market strategy. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. fucking lootly absolutely, fucking lootly man. absolutely. fucking lootly Skinny people falling flat, chubby people falling flop, but obese people falling will roll. <laughs> okay. Of a nation of increasingly sick and fat people. None of this is a coincidence. So th this is depressing. That's depressing. Like the other like images shown, some of them were just disgusting. This one is depressing. Fat people. None of this is. This is depressing as fuck. There's a German metal song lyrics are about a dude that treats a woman over months until she dies. I'm not proud knowing that one, but I was thinking of it when I saw the thin dude and the obese girl. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know that one. A coincidence. So the industry has engineered what they call the bliss point for the perfect amount of sugar in products. Not too little, not too much. Working on maximizing the allure of their products. Quote, oh we like them God. fat. Pick any ultra processed foods at your local grocery store, for example. Some Kraft mac and cheese, a Nestle drumstick paired with some Kit Kat. Well, everything is fine in moderation, right? Like, you don't need to stop eating all of this, but do the moderation, man. Like, I literally had a Kit Kat before we started watching this video. <laughs> oh. It's hospitals too? Jesus Christ. Coffee crisp, Smarties, and why not throw in some Laffy Toffee? Pop in the Kool-Aid and four cans of Dr. Pepper to keep hydrated. Oh, and can't forget the Oreo and Chips Ahoy. Four cans of Orange Fanta. Bro, Orange Fanta? Remember when we watched the comparison of Orange Fanta and European Fanta? Like, uh, bro, American Fanta is so fucking bad. He, but the fact to me that he compared European Fanta to orange juice, just fizzy, that one was the most mind-blowing to me. That one is so fucking mind-blowing to me. Do they not have fucking food regulations? No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> No, they fucking don't. I watched a lot of videos yesterday. Um, I actually watched a lot of queso or food reactions yesterday. I kind of fell in a rabbit hole yesterday night. <laughs> um, about um, foods that are... Like, American foods that are... Food products that are banned in other countries. And, bro, in America, they sell food coloring that causes cancer that shit ain't allowed here that shit ain't allowed here man american is best server for obese stuff speedrun yeah yeah for the vitamins fanta balance as one may say as conventional beauty standards have become much more accepting and ambiguously defined by beauty giants but guess who owns the beauty giants conglomerates like nestle unilever who sell 
Nestle and Unilever, and Unilever owns stuff, as we heard earlier. Do anything from chocolate to <laughs> everything leads back to ice Nestle. cream to frozen foods, and that is when the Dove body soaps begin to make sense. Mm. Not saying that all body positive and fat acceptance campaigns are there to manipulate and trick you Most into of them are, increasing though. your body fat percentage without limits. And that is exactly the issue. So much of the message comes actually from an extremely caring and helpful perspective to help remove the stigma around plus size people. But also, so much fat glorification has been discussed. Why wear those noodles? Neon blue! Guys, as acceptance. Oh my god. And when the majority of your stakeholders need to make money from selling frozen pizzas and ice cream, the votes are not up to you. Yep. Hiding, profit generating, fat glorification under the term fat acceptance is. Yep, there it is. <laughs> there it is! Genius in two ways. First, it plays on the sentiment of correcting social injustices in society. Yes, arguably so, the statistical likelihood- We need to bring back public shaming. Public shaming needs to be brought back. Simple as. Of fat and obese people facing more difficulties in society- Bullying builds character. prejudices <laughs> is a lot higher. And the stigmatization in media brought unfair shaming to obese individuals, which should never be normalized but glorifying obesity the disease is also not okay neither side is okay hints at a moral superiority and makes anyone's opinions who differ morally shallow regardless if fat is unhealthy or not second a food company telling you that being fat is natural which isn't and it just awesome, isn't is not so convincing. There's no waistline worry with coke you know this individual size bottle has no more calories than half a grapefruit we Excuse you? Spot their profit motive from 50 miles away. Coke is low in calories too. Say now, don't you get any thinner? A direct hard sell won't work here. But when a beauty <laughs> or self-care company what the fuck? You never associate with frozen pizza casts someone plus size for a commercial, you get fired up with a sense of justice. Yeah, that is beautiful too. Yeah, they're all brainwashed. Too. Don't they're all wrong. brainwashed. Overly restrictive beauty with models who are only Kate Moss level hero and chic is also problematic because again, it is not healthy. But as nope, much not. as many wish, the spectrum of healthy does not stretch over to obesity. It is amazing. How can you eat that much, bro? Many wish the spectrum of healthy does not. How? Not stretch over to obesity. It is amazing that women of all sizes are loving and accepting who they are, but genuine self. It is important to accept yourself as a person, but it's also important to recognize that being obese is a health concern. It is important to accept yourself, your personality. But you can do something about your weight. Most of the times. 99% of the times. She gained so much fat her forms got well defined somehow. Women of all sizes are loving and accepting who they are, but genuine self love and confidence uh. comes from within and not yep. society telling you yep. or some ads telling you that your size is yep. also yep. quote unquote yep. beautiful what we're yep. talking yep. about here yep. is yep. not yep. the opposite of fat shaming for shaming someone for any reason is not acceptable behavior because it does not come from a place of genuine care of wanting to okay maybe we shouldn't bring back a public shaming oh well Maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. To help them be well. We're talking- Who am I? I'm just the random ass VT, but I don't know jack shit. <laughs> talking about the glorification of fat. Yeah, that, that shit's bad. as acceptance. Meat positivity is toxic because it pretends to be rooted in compassion and kindness. But in reality, yeah. it encourages women to engage in very destructive behaviors. It encourages yes. women to be obese, yes. unhealthy, and be averse to personal responsibility and discipline. If you think most body positivity campaigns are to help you love yourself, I'm sorry, honey. 
Corporate America is a surfacely sweet, but extremely cruel place. It's like, how can you not see the problem? They have to see it and just not care. They have to just be like, well, we're gaining profit. Do you see how much this McDonald's is making? Put another one across the street. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with fat acceptance. Acceptance of reality is the first and yeah. most essential step to yes. all or any type of progress. Yes. You gotta accept it. You gotta accept it and then you improve from them from there no public shaming only pity yeah 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 but the importance of what to do after accepting the reality is often neglected and never talked about telling fat people to keep eating the way that's not serving their health because they are beautiful is like telling an alcoholic to keep on drinking because they're fun it's the easy and profitable thing to do having a fat that's that's a really good comparison. She actually made them one. A really fucking Country good comparison. makes us money. But at the end of the day, it is irresponsible to push unhealthy, addictive behaviors to a greater extreme with the power of Holy both brainwashing, quote-unquote, self-love apps. Extra size, extra sexy. Extreme with the power of both brainwashing. And you know what the issue is? This woman here doesn't even look that obese. She's overweight, sure, but I don't think she's obese. <sighs> Washing quote unquote self love ads and processed foods designed in a way that's addicting, easy to eat, and easy to repeat the eating pattern. It's not a simple good versus bad food, normal versus fat problem. It's a whole addictive pattern building trap. I lost 60 pounds in six months. Everyone was so happy for me. I hated myself. I hated the way I looked. I hated why I exercised. Naturally fat. Our daily trips to McDonald's huh? genetics is eating chips in bed Clearly, yes! What do you mean? Mickey's... I gotta have my daily Mickey's. If I don't have my daily Mickey's, I will be all grumpy. And my buddy will cry. Naturally fat. Our daily trips to McDonald's genetics yes. is eating chips in bed genetics yeah. is being allergic to the gym genetics is yes. running 100 miles genetics. Back in a universe no. where fat just meant fat and not a compliment or insult, fat just means you have excess energy stored yes. in your body that you are not using. Thank you! Yes! There you go! So, obesity or overweight is a disorder involving yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Her legs were dirty. You are not using obesity or overweight is a disorder. I'm gonna move myself. Chat. Her legs. She can't even wash herself anymore. Like this. This is some fucking dirt uh, crust built up. She turned into a blob of meat. Yeah. And then I get told that I hate fat people because I say this is unhealthy. Because I say this is unhealthy. I hate fat people. Order involving excessive body fat that increases the risk of health problems. <laughs> oh God, God, Notice how tree. something that elevates your risk of dying of cardiac arrest is a disorder and is not normal needless to say glamorously framed as the modern sexiness yet times and times again science and data say one thing and media and advertising say another beauty is supposed to be diverse and natural yes but there is nothing natural yes. about being obese yes. obesity prevalence was stably low until shooting up post the 70s and even though there is no data evidently backing up its absence in our hunter and gatherer days we're Civilizations removed from modern processed foods and lifestyles such as the Jemaine tribe is a close modern case. I'm so glad that mostly I started cooking now. Like, I'm using HelloFresh now, right? HelloFresh, by the way, hit me up if you wanna. <laughs> I'm, I'm started cooking mostly with HelloFresh. From time to time, I still, like, order if I have, like, absolutely zero energy or no time. But I feel 
better overall. Ace, the Chimene, a Bolivian population living in a subsistence lifestyle of hunting, gathering, fishing, and farming, had the lowest levels of coronary heart diseases reported to date and statistically insignificant obesity. And yes, they also eat sugar and starchy carbs, just harvested by themselves. So do these people Whoa. just have some God sent fat proof genetics. <laughs> yeah, no, clearly. The overall Bolivian population that shares similar genetics is still subject to 28 and 17% of obesity for women and men. Man. So if they also eat carbs, fat, protein, Fooled by just science like again. the American diet, why? Are they rarely inflicted with fat related health complications? Is all the difference really in the absence of food processing? According to CDC, Americans are eating more calories on average than Kirby? they did in the 1970s. Between 1971 and 2000, the average man added 168 calories to his daily fare, while the Holy average shit. woman added 335 calories a day. What is. How? What? What the fuck? Driving this trend. Experts say it's a combination of increased availability, bigger portions, and more high calorie foods, but nothing beats the devious design of processed foods to get people hooked as an addictive coping mechanism to rising psychological issues. Food addiction is a carefully designed process. People aren't stuffing their faces in beans when they're having a bad day. Quote, foods that are very high in fat and carbohydrate and eat. I wanted to repeat that a one. Carefully designed process. People aren't stuffing their faces in beans when they're having a bad day. People aren't stuffing their faces in beans when they're having a bad day. Oh, okay. Quote, foods that are very high in fat and carbohydrate in equal ratio don't exist naturally, said Gerhardt, a clinical psychologist at the University of Michigan. Yeah. Um. I thought she was gonna say like people aren't stuffing their fa uh, face. Like, generally, when they're having a bad day, which they absolutely fucking do, because fucking, um... The happy hormones are being released when you eat chocolate, for example, right? That's a quick, um... A shot of dopamine. So, yes. Being depressed can also make you obese. Or, like, at least overweight. Worst case scenario is obese, definitely. So, yeah. That, that definitely does exist. Who would want to eat British cooking when they are so depressed? That is true. <laughs> Spicy seafood is a good alternative for carbs, for being said. Really? Depressed eating is the worst it is. Because the thing with depressed eating is... If you are depressed and you gain weight because you're depressed, and then you get even more depressed because you're fat, then you're in an endless loophole. Because you gotta fix your depression, before you can lose weight, because while you're depressed, you won't be able to, like, lose weight. It's just, like, mentally almost impossible. <laughs> Unfortunately. It's very, it's, it's very, very, very bad. Thank God when I'm depressed, I don't eat, I drink alcohol. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Stress eating is also kind of bad, but probably not as bad. But yeah, yeah, definitely. Stress eating is the same kind of scenario. It's not... As bad as the depression one, but yeah, definitely. It's dependent on sex and age too, but comfort foods are usually high in carbohydrates. If I recall correctly, snacks represent about 60% of comfort food. Probably more, I would have thought. Again, it is something that is designed by food scientists in a laboratory to look a certain way, feel a certain way in your mouth, smell a certain way when you open the package. So once you had one pleasant experience with it, you want more and you want it more often. Food addiction is on the rise and the conglomerates yeah. are normalizing it. Or rather, glamorizing the consequence of it. So much of the fat acceptance movement is- No fucking way. No way. No way they said that. Random fun fact. If such immense obese people die, the yeah. body can't be burned at a regular crematorium for a burial learn. Not Jesus. because of the weight, it is because, because the amount of, the of fat would spark such hot flames the crematorium could catch on fire. What? In some countries extreme obese people were burned in crematories for big zoo animals.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a fun fact. <laughs> I... I like that one. Wow, very fun. <laughs> Holy shit. And yeah, fat people are more fun, <laughs> obviously. It's actually a brainwashing ad for addictive junk food. And yes, excuse my language, for it is now politically incorrect to call food good or bad. And I agree. It's all based on perspective. Good for what and bad for what and how much of good before it turns not so good. Because good versus bad is so subjective, it's easier than True. ever for food companies to manipulate the concept. Yep. Because the easier answer yep, up, is up. always one that makes you feel good. To eat as much as you want the, and still looks feel so disgusting. great about yourself. Why is Get it that you? fiber and the antioxidants and just feel... And the greatest beneficiaries to glorifying this disease is the toxic triad of big farming, big food, and big pharma for creating a nation of sick and fat people. Let me put it into context. About a third of our economy thrives on making people more fat and sick. Big farming grows Jesus. percent per day than 25 years ago, industrially processed. Why is all your food not blue? <laughs> My bad! I forgot the blue food coloring! Blue heat takis? So follow those! New conspiracy theory? America is fattening its people up to turn them into rocket fuel. <laughs> For Elon to use! Hell yeah! These foods with addictive combinations of fat, sugar, and salt deter the stop signals for eating. The sicker our population, that the good, more though. medications are sold for high cholesterol, diabetes, there high is. blood pressure. It actually is just... It actually is just... Disgusting. I don't even call this a conspiracy theory anymore. This is just true. You, you can't argue the fact when the same company that does DAF owns food companies uh, food brands this ain't a fucking conspiracy it's happening it's a fact depression and other lifestyle driven diseases while more and more of us believe not only is this okay this type did she just get fatter driven diseases while more and more of us believe not only That's nothing positive, so t positive about this. Your smile may be positive, but everything else, uh, there ain't nothing positive about this. Girl, why are you wearing a sports bra when you ain't doing sports? <sighs> What's that mean? <laughs> What's that mean? Was that too far? <laughs> like <laughs> no <laughs> to what what other bros couldn't bro <laughs> just telling the truth <laughs> all right <laughs> i could be mean if i tell the truth of why she's worse was <laughs> a tattoo bro is she the sun and wait what oh she has a sun tattoo I mean, okay, I I don't know about that. Uh, I, I I got nothing on her. Yeah, I see the tattoo, but I I don't know what about it. I don't. I don't think we should judge her for her, t her tattoo. I think. I think the tattoos are fine. The knee. Well, yeah. Okay. I I I I don't see anything wrong with the tattoo. Only is this okay? This type of sickness is sexy and beautiful. This is disgusting. And sadly, the profit-driven version of the fat acceptance movement targets women way more. Why do we see a range of plus-size models from mannequins in retail to Victoria's Secret? Yeah, why do we never see fat males being glorified, huh? Why aren't fat men sexy? Why is it only fat women? Hmm. Fashion shows, while men's fashion still shows buff and 
Some tattoo just uh, yeah, no, that's that's not okay. No, no, chat. Uh, that's too far. No, uh, no uh, ju that's just insulting. But just straight up insulting. That's that's too far. In retail to Victoria's Secret fashion shows, while men's fashion still shows buff and toned models and plastic mannequins, something does not add up. Perhaps it is because of the preconceived notion that women care more about appearances, or that many women still take the main responsibility for shopping for food for the whole household, which drives more impact in speeding up the fattening of the population, leading the kid is fat. Not the kid. I hate to see when children are fat, man. That's the child abuse. A fat child is child abuse. Just out of curiosity, what would be the body positivity obese girl say if she was asked if she would date a fat dude? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know the answer to that one. To more sickness. The spiral itself, from farming to food processing to so it actually is legally penalized in some places. Good! Sickness. This is the disgusting. The itself, from farming to food processing to solving a naturally increasing problem, is just bleak and sickening. Self-acceptance is not the opposite from self-improvement, and is certainly not the logical reason to regenerate 90% of your cells from frozen pizzas, chocolates, chips, and whatever genius foods corporations created to keep you addicted and sick. Part of loving yourself is to actually take accountability for your well-being instead of letting profit-seeking yep. commercials tell you that you are enough. Being positive does not mean being did that guy actually In commercials tell <laughs> Okay, he's just <laughs> He's just yeah 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 okay that's good. Finally it does something that won't make me feel self-conscious about my body Yay <laughs> that you are enough. Being positive does not mean being unrealistic it requires the yes! courage to face the discomfort of broken yes! delusions and be willing yes! to make changes if needed body positivity movement has now resulted in, in magazine covers that actually says this is healthy lifestyle of being obese this actually said healthy ain't no fucking way bro and, and magazine covers that actually says this is healthy the lifestyle of being obese is now not only beautiful but it's healthy glorifying it just ain't. disease is not self-love yeah it's, it's not delusion Corn it is i don't have any health problems always out of breath and it's hard to do things but that's because of fat phobia the doctor's not listening to me it has nothing to do with the fact that my fupa restricts my movement and despite how imp possible is it I like that. She's clearly she. Yeah, I like that. She's right. She. That's a good one. That's a good one. She knows. That that's good. She accepted it. She she's making fun of it, and she knows she can do better. This is good. It's delusion. Of course, I don't have any help. What's the vacuum doing? I don't know. Just making fun Problems. of other people of even more. To do things, but that's because of fat phobia. The doctor's not listening to me. It has nothing to do with the fact that my fupa restricts my movement. And despite how impossible it seems, what you do after acceptance is still your choice. Yes! And that's a food for thought. Good for the fucking video, man. Really good video. Really, really, really good video. God damn, man. God damn. God damn, diggling damn. Um, yeah. That's that's a topic I love to come back to because obesity is something my parents or like my mom rather is dealing with since my stepfather had a fucking liposuction for some fucking reason. No, he didn't have a liposuction. He had a, a stomach cutting in half thing. Sorry, that's something different. I forgot. I I I go uh, confused on names. Uh, it's I'm not at an ideal weight either, so it is something that hits close to home to me. And people fucking glorifying and a, a fucking disease are disgusting. So yeah, that's that. That's really my opinion on this shit, man. Well, thanks for watching YouTube. <laughs>